Hi, I'm Peggy with Portraits by Peggy, and we just finished the holidays, New Year's Eve, and Valentine's Day is just literally around the corner. So what does that mean to photographers? Well, it means that a lot of people either just got engaged or are about to get engaged. So it's about time for our phones to start ringing. Now, getting married is a huge decision in itself. But once you've decided who you want to marry, then the decisions just keep coming. You've got caterers, you've got DJs, you have who's going to make the cake, what kind of cake are you going to have, but most importantly, who's going to be your photographer? Now, I joke about that being the most important thing, but it kind of is because when your, night, your day is over, what are you going to have? You're going to have the pictures that your photographer took for you. Now, you can go to Craigslist and you can just find somebody that's um, training or just starting out, somebody that just bought a camera and has decided they're a photographer. Now, that's okay, maybe for your business headshots, because if they turn out lousy, you probably didn't spend a lot of money on it, and you can go redo it. It's okay for the family portraits because, again, you probably didn't spend a lot of money on it, and if you hate them and you look terrible in them, you can go do it again next week or next month. But your wedding, you're not going to redo that. That wedding day is only going to happen one time. So this is something you really should put some thought into. Most people budget is, a, is, is consideration and I understand that. But there's a lot of factors. Now I might not be the photographer for you. I probably am. But no, seriously. Um, I've been doing weddings for 26 years, so I know a lot of things that happen. I can pretty much um, see problems before they start. Hopefully I can get in front of it. If not, then I can help you fix it really quick so that your wedding day is going to go off without a hitch. But most importantly, I'm able to capture that emotion and give you the ability to travel back in time and relive that day through your album anytime you want. Show your kids, show your grandkids. Keep it up um, on the shelf and uh, be proud of it. Now, whether you choose me or you choose someone else, these are some things you have to think about. A, does your photographer actually know what's going on? Now, I just found out something a while back that I had no idea actually happened. So this is a question you need to ask. Are the pictures on your website yours? Did you take them? Now, I would assume if I go to someone's website that I'm looking at their work, but apparently you shouldn't assume that because people actually buy images from other photographers or just straight up steal them and put them on their website and give the people the illusion that that's their work. So first of all, when you're interviewing photographers, say these examples that you're showing me, did you personally take them? Because that's important to know. Um, if they didn't, um, run <laughs> because if a, if a person's going to lie about their work or be manipulative that early on, I would run. Uh, the other thing you need to know is sit down, have coffee with them, go to their studio, talk to them, make sure you like them. Uh, make sure your personality, make sure they don't bug you, make sure their voice doesn't annoy you because as crazy as that sounds, they're going to be with you all day long. And this is the most important day of your life, or at least one of the top five most important days of your life, right? Um, so you want to make sure that you like them. Um, make sure somebody that, that's going to make your day better and not worse. Because, you know, um, anybody that's worked with me knows that I get into the work mode and I joke and tease, but I'm all about business. You know, I get people shuffled around and moved around and, you know, situations quieted down and taken care of really quick. My job is to actually not be seen. I don't want your guest to say, oh, the photographer this, the ph ph photographer that. Sorry, that sounded really weird. Anyway, I want to make sure that you have a good experience and I'm pretty much out of the way. But you and I, we're going to see each other all day. I'm going to be telling you, come on, let's go over here, let's go over there. So you're going to have a lot of contact with your photographer. So make sure your photographer isn't annoying. <laughs> Um, make sure that you like their work. Make sure that, that you talk to them and they seem like they're intelligent. 
Make sure that they seem like they have good people skills because they're working with people all day. They've got to get all your groups, all your families together. They've got to get their attention. They've got to get things, and it's got to happen fast. So make sure that you have a good feeling about that. And you know what? It's okay to get a reference. Hey, whose wedding did you take? Um, is, there, is there a reference? Did they write a review about you? Um, did, you know, can you show me their wedding? Now, some photographers can and some photographers can't because as, as, your, as a client, you have rights as well. So just because I take your picture doesn't mean that I can show other people your pictures. You have to give me the right to do that. So, you know, that's not necessarily an, oh my God, they don't have an extra wedding album, but they should have some really good pictures because there's going to be a, a handful of people that are like, of course, show my beautiful pictures off. Why wouldn't you? Um, so, you know, they should have some good, some good examples that they did. They should have some stuff like that. Now let's talk about budget. Um, you're going to find out that things are expensive. Your caterer is going to be expensive. Your DJ is going to be expensive. Your photographer is going to be expensive. And a lot of these places demand a big deposit and they're non-refundable because photographers, caterers, DJs, we all book six months to a year in advance. And once we give you that date, nobody's going to take that date. So if you cancel or, or change your mind, then we're stuck with, uh, with nothing to do that day. So that's why there are deposits and they're non-refundable. That is an industry standard. You're going to find that. That is normal. That's nothing to be afraid of. However, you do need to know, hey, this is what I want to do. Now, for me personally, I have payment plans available because I understand like, hey, coming up with the money is sometimes, you know, ah, oh, because you're coming up with money for everybody. But um, the other thing I want to talk to you about is um, not only choosing the photographer, but, you know, being able to, to work with the photographer. It's important that you maybe do an engagement session. For me, everybody that books a package, a wedding package with me, we do a free engagement session. Now, that's nice for you, but it's better for me because I get to know you. I get to find out what are you... Um, Everybody has their little things that they don't like. Oh, my nose looks big. My eye is small, you know, whatever it is. So when I'm doing that engagement session, I get to learn you. I get to find out all those things about you so that the day of the wedding, I already know, okay, she's, she's, he, he's a scared of this side or she doesn't like that side. And, you know, I'm already, I already have that in my head so I can kind of take care of all those little things. So again, um, I, I want to, the other one thing I wanted to cover, and I'm stuttering here, I apologize, is, you know, I do have prices up on my website, but prices for weddings are not a cookie cutter business, in my opinion. If you go to a photographer and they say a wedding is X amount, um, eh, that scares me because no one, one's wedding is the same as someone else's wedding. Um, I have prices up, but that's just kind of a, hey, this is pretty much the most you're going to spend. More than likely, I'm going to be able to get a package for you that's a little bit less. You know, maybe you have one person standing up with you. Maybe you have 10 people standing up with you. Big difference. Maybe you just need me for two hours. Maybe you need me for 12 hours. So when somebody calls and says, hey, what do you charge for a wedding? I cringe. I absolutely hate that question because there's no right answer. Everybody's wedding is different. Everybody has different needs. Some people want big, nice um, photo books and albums. Some people don't want all that. They just need a small proof album. So everybody's needs are different. Everybody's wedding is different, different sizes, different venues. So sit down and talk to the photographer. Find out what exactly are you going to get for your money. Find out when, when you should expect you know, a return. In other words, once that wedding's over, when should I expect to see some proofs? When should I expect to see uh, my album? When should I expect to see all this? Find out. These are all important questions to ask. So once you get all your answers to all your questions, then you're ready to make a decision. So first of all, if you happen to be one of those many people that just got engaged or are about to get engaged, congratulations. And I really hope that you call me and at least sit down with me and see if I'm a fit. If not, then I wish you the best of luck finding the most amazing photographer for your situation. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you soon. But before you stop watching this, please subscribe, like, and share.